In this video, we will finally unleash the full potential with this five-way rotary knob to select between five different pickup configurations. We have the neck pickup soloed, both pickups in series, both pickups in parallel, bridge pickup soloed, and a mute switch. Let's get this started with the neck pickup soloed, towed at 100%. This is amazing. You can now hear how the P pickup sounds soloed with these Roswell pickups, and they sound not that bad. I'm really impressed how this neck pickup sounds soloed. Now let's dial this down with the tone at 50%. All right, we're going to completely roll off the tone knob and hear how that sounds. Now that right there is a P bass. Now we're going to switch over to both pickups in series mode, tone at 100%. Now let's dial the tone down to 50%. Now we're going to completely roll down the tone. Now personally, I'm not a huge fan of series mode with both pickups on. To me, they sound very beefy and they don't really have that much clarity, just my personal opinion. I believe if I were to swap these stock pickups into hum canceling PJ pickups, then perhaps a series mode would benefit off of hum canceling PJ pickups. Now dialing into my favorite, and that is going to be with both pickups in parallel mode. Now let's hear how that sounds with tone at 100%. Tone at fifty per cent. And now completely rolling off the tone at zero per cent. And now switching over to the bridge pickup soloed. I know most people don't like what a J bass sounds like on a PJ bass, but personally, I do. And we're gonna go over how that sounds with tone at 100%. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I love the bridge pickup solo, especially when it comes to harmonics. And chords. Tone at 50% for the bridge pickup. Bridge pickup at zero percent. And finally, the last fifth option we have here is the mute switch. Turn that noise down, damn it! Now that we've heard how all of these five settings sound, we're gonna go ahead and play with the pick, starting off with the neck pickup. Tone at 100%. Let's hear that with the tone at 50%. And tone completely rolled off. Now switching over to series mode, tone at 100%. Tone at 50%. And now the tone completely rolled off. Now switching over to both pickups in parallel. Tone at 100%. Tone at 50%. And now the tone completely rolled off. Sure, why not? Let's hear how the bridge pickup sounds like played with a pick, tone at 100%. Tone at 50%.
and tone completely rolled off. Now, we're not going to go over how the mute switch sounds like played with the pick because we already know how that sounds like. Let's hear a little bit of how it sounds slapped with the neck pickup soloed, tone at 100%. Let's go tone at 50%. Sure, why not? Let's roll off the tone knob. Alright, switching it over to series and let's hear how that sounds slapped. Alright, now what the tone at 50%. Why not? Tone rolled off. You know what? It actually doesn't sound that bad slapped in series. Now let's switch over to parallel slapped. Tone at 50%. Tone completely rolled off. And the bridge pickup soloed. Alright, alright. Tone at 50%. tone completely wrote off. Now let's throw this down in a mix. Being able to hear how this bass sounds with each pickup soloed, in addition to hearing how it sounds between parallel and series, this bass just does it all man. Leaving behind the limitations the Harley Benton had originally of having both pickups on all the time. Another addition we've made to this Harley Benton bass is a stacked volume tone knob, maintaining its stock appearance without drilling any additional holes to keep things true of its previous control layout. Now there is one thing to mention, fitting both these knobs does require a bit of routing on the control plate to accommodate these knobs. Now I have to be real with you guys, the mod was not a walk in the park. 
I needed an extra set of hands thanks to my local guitar tech that was patient enough to work with me along the way. Thanks to this wiring diagram from a website resourced on Talkbase. I still feel like a noob when it comes to these mods, but with Harley Benton not only being the best budget bass around, but also a great modding platform to learn on. The best way to learn is by doing, and with the right mindset and a willingness to fail, you'll be amazed at what you can accomplish.